Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy Town. All right, man. So check this out. All right, so Terrence Crawford pulls a, a E40 on Jerron, and it's basically from the classic E40 disc record towards Rashid Wallace. Basically, it was like, you know, when he told Rashid Wallace, since you got all the bread, nigga, put up your bins. Nah, nah, can't do that. Why not? Old school trophy. You know, and that's basically what he telling Jerron who's in it. If you guys want to fight, put up the bread. Send him a check. You guys have to understand when you say, oh, he need to be fighting this dude. He need to be fighting that dude. Well, currently at the moment, Jerron Booth Ennis is a promotional uh, free agent, according to reports. He's not a PBC fighter because there were talks of, you know, match room signing him. So definitely that means, you know, he's not a PBC fighter. He's a promotional free agent. So once again, you have to find somebody that's willing to put up the money for this fight. And then they have to do some number crunching. And then they have to see how much they have to put up for this fight to satisfy the fighters, satisfy the cable networks, and then satisfy the promotional company. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants to lose money. So they have to figure, have to figure all this out. It's not that easy to just sit up there and say, hey, I want to fight this dude. Hey, fine. Here's the contract. That's why it's called a negotiation. You have to negotiate everything from location, date, ring size, gloves, you know, pay-per-view percentage, upfront money, you know, all that stuff. That's why it's called a negotiation. And unfortunately, Jerron, who's in his has nothing to negotiate with. You know, I know I, I know it would be a good fight, but at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford is at a point where he wants a certain amount of money for a fight. He's not going to take no two, three million to fight Jerron Boos in his. Because he feels he's evolved from that. He feels like he's, you know, moved beyond that. So that's the problem. You guys sit up here and, and rant and, and talk about that somebody need to do this, need to do that, and they ducking. And see, here's the difference between Devin Haney and Tank Davis. They have financial backing. The money is there. They have somebody that wants to put up the money for the fight. So that's different. Now, if if you know, if the dude from from Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al Sheik, says, "Okay, well, we want to host the fight. We'll give Terence Crawford twenty million and Jerome um, five to have the fight in Saudi Arabia," then that's a different story. But they haven't made a formal offer to Terrence Crawford and they haven't shown any indication that they want to make that fight because Booth is relatively unknown. See, you guys are too used to listening to these dummies that just sit up here and claim to be, you know, um, better call Sal, the, the, you know, the least attorney niggas. They don't be telling you this. See, you listen to these dudes that be sitting up here making you stupid or stupefying you by feeding you guys bullshit. Because at the end of the day, what they doing, they pushing an the agenda so they can make the fighter that they don't like look bad. And that's all they want to do is like just attack and smear the name of the fighter that they don't like. But I'm trying to explain to you guys how this works. So basically, I can help you guys win debates because this is pretty easy. When people say, oh, Terrence Crawford is, du is ducking to run. No, he isn't. He's saying he'll fight him. But he, he won a decent amount of money. And basically, he's sort of like trying to tax him because when he gave him the opportunity, he said he wanted to stay loyal. So Terrence Crawford probably looking at it that way. Okay, well, you had a chance to fight me and you was procrastinating. You know what I'm saying? You didn't want to get on the good foot. It was talking about you want to stay loyal to Showtime and all this kind of stuff. And 
Showtime wasn't, <laughs> wasn't about staying loyal to you, so now look what happened. So that's where Terrence Crawford is coming from. I'm trying to explain this to you guys. I then obtained a lot of knowledge since I started covering boxing. You know, from the people on the inside giving you real knowledge. And I'm trying to help you guys. Stop listening to these dumbass dudes that don't cover fights. That just talk out the side of their neck. That just be winging stuff and making up stuff. I'm giving you the real. That's how it works. Once again, who's going to pay for this fight? I haven't seen anybody raising their hand. I haven't seen top rank saying, hey... Terrence, come back, do a, a, a one and done, and we'll, you know what I'm saying? We'll put up the money for this fight. I haven't heard um, Golden Boy say, hey, Terrence Crawford, let's do a one and done, and we'll put up the money for this fight. You haven't heard Match Room say, hey, Terrence Crawford, let's do a one and done. You haven't heard, heard the, you know, you haven't even heard the PBC say, all right, with well, Terrence here, you know, we can restructure the deal, but you know, that you have with us, or whatever the case is, um, just fight Jerron, and we all know the PBC really don't like to pay nobody. So, that's why they're in the position that they in, man. I'm just giving y'all the real, man. So, I'm trying to explain to y'all. So, the only way that fight gonna happen is Jerron take out a, I don't know, a $30 million loan and try to promote the fight himself and try to find, you know, and get somebody to distribute it. And he gonna have to get a Terrence Crawford 25 of that and take five for, for himself. So that's the only way. And that's what Terrence Crawford means. It's not a duck. Stop listening to these dudes that be tweeting and stuff and just talking a bunch of shit that don't take their black asses to fights or non-black asses to fight, or white asses to fights. Because I don't want you to accuse me. Oh, man, you just, why are you attacking the black man, damn? You know what I'm saying? So, just keeping that real, man. So, hope you guys under, understand. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you need to listen to this video again. Anyway, this your boy, Town. I'm out.